Okay, look at that ghosting. Do you guys see the image ghosting? What ghosting? Do you not see it? Look at the trees right now. As I move back and forth, watch the trees. Do you see those nice little black trailing nonsense? That's called ghosting. And that's being introduced by the DLSS in this game. Um, by the way, if I stand still, you can see it happening on this windmill here. Watch. You can see it trailing beyond those. Also, watch the people as they move around. Watch the little people in this scene. Watch their heads, their arms, and stuff. You'll see ghosting. There is a lot of image ghosting introduced by the DLSS in this game, which, by the way, is version 2.1.63. This is not DLSS 2.2, which some games have been using, and games like Rainbow Six Siege, which launched with the uh, DLSS 2.2 version recently, uh, you can sometimes swap that into other games and it fixes some of this ghosting. I haven't tested that here yet, but I might link my video on how to do that in case uh, any of you guys want to test it. Look at that ghosting. It's really quite distracting and pretty bad. Anyway, we're also going to test out uh, uh, just what does all the DLSS look like in the game. So let's do that too. Anyway, so what do we have going on here? We have um, an RTX 2070 trying to run, run a game at 4K, which isn't the best of situations, which is why we're using DLSS in the first place. I want a 3080. Please give me one for less than $2,000. Ah, GPUs right now, am I right? Anyway, so this is the game pretty much set. I, I set it to epic settings. And um, there you go. I swapped it over to DX12. I think it defaulted to 11. I'm not sure which one's better. I haven't tested that out in this game yet. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at DLSS. Well, first of all, let's actually turn DLSS off. In this game, it's under anti-aliasing. By the way, if you're not familiar with DLSS, um, you need an RTX series card to use it. So if you're like, I don't have that option, you don't. You probably don't have an RTX series card. By the way, I did install the latest uh, driver for this game that just came out from NVIDIA. Now. Look at this windmill. Hey, no ghosting. Watch me stutter step. Watch me stutter to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. That's pretty stupid, isn't it? Anyway, uh, I don't see any ghosting, right? The ghosting is gone. So that ghosting is definitely an artifact introduced from the DLSS. However, if we walk around here, OK, so you get an, get an idea of what this thing looks like. Notice that my frame rate here is in the 50s. I'm in the 50s trying to run this. Uh, at 4K maxed out on a 2070, which actually is pretty good. This game isn't incredibly demanding, although maybe other scenes are more demanding. So let's switch the DLSS back on and look at what kind of performance jump I get. So give it a second to kick in here. You'll notice that we are now in the low 60s instead of the low to mid 50s. So it does help me stay above 60. There's that ghosting again, guys. Hello, ghosting, my old friend. Um, now, moving around and just running around and playing the game, it's probably not going to be the end of the world. And I will say that the image does look pretty good. Um, so other than the ghosting, I think DLSS quality at 4K is looking great. And let's quickly run through some of the other settings just so you can get a quick peek at those since you clicked on the DLSS video. <laughs> All right, here's DLSS balanced. You'll notice the frame rate in the top left corner there is up to 68 now. So we've gone up to the upper 60s. And the image still looks pretty good, I'd say. Uh, rolling around here in motion, I think things are looking all right. You can, ah, oh man, there's a lot of ghosting. You can even see it on the power lines and stuff. So yeah, it seems like the image ghosting is the main issue. But other than that, I'd say at least at 4K, even going into this um, uh, lower DLSS setting here on balanced seems to look pretty good. And I'm sitting uh, about three feet away from a 48 inch 4K OLED I just bought and I'm testing out to see how it works as a gaming monitor. <laughs> so I'm very close to the uh, large 4K screen. I will say this looks pretty good, not perfect, but pretty good, other than all that ghosting. Down to performance, and especially in motion. Um, OK, the good news here is our frame rates up into the mid 70s now. The other good news is this still looks pretty good. If I, if I really wanted better frame rates, I could use this. But I can definitely start to see a little bit of a loss to some of the image details. 
And like in motion here, I feel like these straight lines and boards here kind of break up a little bit in motion. Because again, the uh, re AI reconstructor thing doesn't have as much data to work with when you low, uh, render at a lower resolution. So it's a little distracting, but I'd still consider this somewhat usable if I needed the frame rate. It's not completely awful. Um, however, I probably will stay on quality myself um, and maybe lower some actual graphic settings down to like high. Uh, so here's just going down to ultra performance. And here, I think you can really see in these little lines here in the boards that there's a loss of sharpness. Of course, if you're watching this on like a 1080p screen, maybe you can't see it. Whoa, look at the power lines in motion. You can probably see that one. Oh boy. I'm gonna dub, based on that, ultra performance to be an ultra last resort. Um, ooh, yeah, look, were the power lines that bad on performance mode or is it just ultra performance? Yuck. Okay, now in the scene we're benchmarking at, I am in the uh, like upper 80s now. So um, frame rate ri wise, this helped out. But ooh, that's distracting. Uh, let's see if we bumped it at least up to um, the performance setting if, if the power lines stay together a little bit better. So they're still ghosting a lot. Oh, man. <laughs> That still looks a lot better than it did on Ultra Performance. Man, this has a lot of ghosting. I might need to do a video. I'm gonna test out whether or not the 2.2 uh, fix works in this game, uh, and then hopefully I don't get banned by the easy anti-cheat or something for modifying the files. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but I'm, if, if it does work out, I might make a video on, on, on how to fix this ghosting, because it, it is pretty bad. So I'm gonna say that for me personally, I'm going to stick to, um, either balanced or quality. Um, you know, those power lines still don't do great even on balance, but it's really just the ghosting interacting with it. It was really only down on ultra performance where you just kind of lost the power line detail entirely. Um, yeah, so I think for myself here, it's probably gonna be DLSS on quality and then um, even here, again, you get the ghosting on all that, but it's, uh, you know, everything else is looking pretty sharp. I'd say quality's um, the, definitely the way to go if you can get the frame rate that you need. And, um, you know, if you also just bump down the graphics a little bit, I was, wasn't on the graphics, there was the problem. See, if I just bump down to high instead of epic, and now we're using DLSS quality on the high graphics settings instead of epic. You know, I'm up over 60. I'm, I'm in the 60s, upper 60s. I think this is probably gonna be good enough. Although I will say going down to high instead of epic did not seem to gain me a lot of frames. Interesting. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. And like I said, there might be a future video saying if, if I am successful updating to 2.2 to fix the ghosting. If it's unsuccessful, I might just add it as a comment that I pin or something like that. <laughs> I hope you guys have an excellent day.